right, so that their fame will be known. Hello there, Benevolent History again, and I'm doing a commentary battle. Same rules, fi same typical rules, 15k CWB rules. And I'm playing as the Carthaginians against my opponent who's playing as the Seleucids. Now, I'm, now I brought only um, two Sacred Band, two Heavy Cav, and more Light Cav. Mainly because Seleucids, they have really, they have Cataphract, the, be the best Cav in the game, basically. I, I don't want to risk um, bringing too many Heavy Cav, or I might lose them. So I brought tons of light cav. You can see here. I'm just splitting the guys evenly on both wings. So what I plan to do with the missile fight is basically to rush up with my guys, with my infantry and slingers in this formation, and hopefully take out his archers. But what, 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 but what um made my plan kind of fail was the fact that he brought silver shield legionaries. You see, you saw five there. He brought two cataphracts, two companions, six six archers, and one Greek cav. In addition to his five silver shield legionaries, all very very well upgraded. So he brought a pretty good army, except except I would have um I would have gotten much more cataphracts because when you're using as when you're playing Seleucids, companions are basically useless. More cav, less infantry. It's generally the best best thing to do as Seleucids. Yeah, you can see I ran my um, infantry up right away, and then I run my ran my singles up. I probably should have changed my formation of these slinger slingers because um, any arrows now will probably hit the hit both of the units because they're overlapping one another and then I send my light cab on both wings what he made what mistake he made here was the fact that he left his archers on skirmish mode and when the, when archers on skirmish mode they'll run away automatically you can see that um yeah they just ran away automatically. They shouldn't be doing you should have you shouldn't have put them on skirmish mode in this situation because he, his cavalry was already protecting kinda of protecting his guys and basically his archer just ran away from the safety of his cav. So I was able to I guess tease the archers away from his cavalry. You know, I just moved one cav up, one cav to strike them, one cab to distract them, and I make some pretty, I guess, pretty good maneuvers with my light cab. You can see here, I'm just continuously harassing. When you have a light cab superiority like this, and your opponent is not exactly protecting his archers as well, you you should do this always. Be very aggressive in the skirmish fight like this. Like, even though his archers are better than my slingers. I I I, I would w I was able to win this um skirmish battle because I was continuously harassing these guys. That you see a slow companions and cataphracts just moving very very slowly. They they can't catch light cav unless um, I make a micro mistake. Which I don't, thankfully. Because if I do, then I'll, <laughs> I, I just shudder at the fact that I made such a stupid mistake. But oh well. No one got caught this time. No one died, which is a good thing at the beginning of the battle. Because normally when I play, I always lose my guys, like like very easily. <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty reckless. You can see, I made a um desperate ploy to try and get his archers away from his away from his um ca cavalry but he I think he realized that um he should take his guys off skirmish mode so he, he did a very good thing you see that I'm even yeah I'm still attacking some of his archers yeah he moved his infantry right now 
at this moment to my um to my right which is interesting I mean normally you don't see um players do this but he did it and I had to reposition he probably got, that was probably a very good thing for him to do because I wasn't exactly in the best position against his infantry you can see two units on my left just do, doing absolutely nothing away from the fight and that's very good for him so I immediately rushed my rushed all my guys forward you see that I made my light cav attack as archers at the back and I made a phalanx charge of the silver shield legionaries I, at the same time I sent my sacred back cab, my heavy cab to the back but he um he 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 got his legionaries to target my heavy cab and I didn't really get a good attack on on his back with his men so I don't do very well in that fight on contrast he makes very good attacks on my guys he, he routes a lot of my units a lot of my sacred band which I, I should not have done it, it was really my, my my really really big mistake that I made although he did um, withdraw silver shield legionaries out of the fight which was uh, a questionable move but I guess that's a good move because my guys were bogged down as their phalanx units are very slow they can't really maneuver you can see at the same time I got my stingos out attack the rear of his silver shield legionaries which is a good thing it'll help turn the tide and then my I'm maneuvering my cav at the back I'm trying to get hammer and anvil strikes I have to get hammer and anvil strikes or I will lose this battle see I was able to route I think one two yeah two two no three of his silver shield legionaries right there I I think two not nah, yeah number two his cataphracts are really his cataphracts are really dangerous <coughs> excuse me for that yeah I, I was very paranoid of his cataphracts I'm trying to run run my guys as fast as they can <laughs> away right now I only have um, four weak units of sacred band left and he has a few cataphracts and some silver shield legionaries and one companion to the left you see there and uh, don't forget I have a lot, have a lot of slingos at uh, five and over here I avoid his cataphracts and I make one final very decisive charge on his um, silver shield legionaries a route one <coughs> excuse me for that again I route one which is very very good for me I, I need all the all the infantry and all the infantry superiority I could get you see that he has mostly cavalry and in a fight with Sacred Band and Cataphracts, um, <coughs> um, it's difficult to, c to say who comes out on top, but I, I guess Sacred Band would, because they're spearmen. Oh, Cataphracts. Oh, yeah. His general dies by my Sacred Band, which is ve very good for me. Very good. And currently he was treating his guys in a last last stand so to speak he's treating his guys and we'll, we'll come forward to the middle soon I make one final rush with my guys. I want to end this as quickly as possible. So I make <coughs> attack with my sacred band right away. Try and do a phalanx charge it again with all three of my units. The only um one only one of my units would actually engage is silver shield legionaries. But oh well. 
Over here is companion on the right, come to intercept me, and I made a kind of blunder, but in the end, to be blunt, it doesn't make a damn difference because I'm able to just attack the back and route all those guys. And victory goes to me. As you'll see. Tries to make one last ditch effort with companions, but they all route. Your skillful command has snatched a victory yeah. from the jaws of defeat, but only just. Yeah, my opponent, OJ um, Rido, he played very well, very well, actually, compared to m most people online. Good game to him.